everyone, welcome back to Devil Ray Paint Testing here on Cyber Warrior Studios. My name is Devil Ray, and today we're going to be installing Parrot Psych in a VM setting. This is different from my previous video of installing something because one, it's not Kali Linux, and two, we're not doing a bare metal install. The reason why this is important is more than likely you're going to be using a VM setting uh, whenever you do any type of ethical hacking or penetration testing. So, this is the more common way of doing it. Not saying that it's wrong. But it's just a different way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start by showing you where you can get Parasec, um, which is right here at parasec.org slash download. They do have a home edition that you can use and they also have a security edition which is the one that we'll be using today. And then there's the IoT and Cloud Appliances version. So I've already went ahead and downloaded it. I'm also going to be installing this directly to an external hard drive. The reason why this is cool for me is because now I have, as long as I have uh, a virtual machine uh, software somewhere, I can always open this up. Preferably, it has it would have to be um, VMware because that's what it's built in or what it's going to be built in. But again, this is what it is. So let's go ahead and start with our install. So let's go ahead hit new. What is it? Create a new virtual machine. Hit install uh, disk image. We're going to hit browse to find it, and there it is. We'll go ahead and open, hit next, Linux, Ubuntu works fine. Pair it, and then I'm going to change the um, there it is, that's the one I want. Virtual machine, do subfolder. So again, I'm installing this directly on my external hard drive, so that way, as long as I have um, virtual machine or uh, sorry, VMware workstation, I'll be able to open it up theoretically. So I'm going to bump it up to 40 gigs uh, and save it as a single file. I'm going to customize hardware. Uh, I like to do 16 gigs for builds like this. I'll my drop it down if I'm doing an Active Directory Lab uh, on the same um, machine. I recently lost a hard drive, so all of my current virtual machines are gone. So I have to rebuild my lab, but that'll be for a later video. So right now I got 16 gigs for memory processors. I'm gonna drop it down to, or drop it, or bring it up to four. Uh, I'm gonna leave a network adapter as NAT. And everything else we'll leave as is. We'll go ahead and hit finish. And now we are ready to go ahead and fire it up. So one thing that's different about uh, Paratsec versus uh, Kali is they have this try slash install. So you can try it out before actually installing it. So that's what we're gonna run today. All right, here it is loading up. Let's go ahead and maximize this. Oh, too soon. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead, maximize the window so that way we can get all the beautiful details. So we're gonna go ahead, this icon over here, this was also different about Paratec versus Kali Linux. Uh, like I was mentioning earlier is they have a try mode which is what this is but then you can go in and just double click here there it goes and start the installing process so we're gonna go ahead and hit next works for me close enough uh, we'll erase the entire disk so pretty much because it's a virtual machine and a virtual disk it only has the 40 gigs that we allocated to the virtual machine so it's perfectly fine to do a racing disk for a virtual machine setting if again you're trying to do this in a bare metal scenario and you have a very specific um partition that you're trying to put it on i would try and do manual partitioning because otherwise you could erase something that you don't want to so we're going to go ahead and fill out the information double array that's fine uh, name of this is Parrot 
and then we'll just go ahead and drop a password in here. Alrighty. And then here's a summary of everything that you are changing and doing. That's fine. Let's go ahead and install. Now at this point, it will take a, uh, a brief moment to uh, run through its entire settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the long wait out. Feel free to pause the video if you are following along. Um, and then just hit play again whenever you are ready to go and you're all caught up. But I'll see you guys in a few moments. All right, so it looks like it went ahead and finished the install and it's asking for a restart now. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Shouldn't take too terribly long. Yep, uh, press enter to continue. Let's go ahead and load it back up. Looks like we're gonna have to exit full screen and then bring it back full screen again in order to get everything perfect. Log back in and you guys now have a brand new Parrot Sec install. Um, that's gonna be it for today's video. Our next video in this series is gonna be installing the OWASP Juice Shop. Um, I'm gonna show you where you can get it, how to install it, how to download it, and we're gonna run it in our Parrot Sec instance uh, and then we'll go through the whole series of talking about different um, vulnerabilities within OWASP, different things you could do with it, and then ultimately, hopefully, finish out the uh, the whole series of OWASP Juice Shop and then move on to something different. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you did like it. Uh, leave a comment down below on something either that you would like to see on the uh, show or um, if uh, there's something about this video that you liked. Um, until then, make sure, don't forget to update. Um, biggest thing update your VM once you get installed. I almost forgot to mention that. But uh, if you do like the channel, uh, please see, leave a subscription. Go watch uh, Cyber Warrior for his Motivation Mondays, Tech Tuesdays, and his Security Happy Hour on Fridays. Um, if you want to support this show specifically, you, go, you can go down to this description bar below and click on the Patreon link and sign up to be a patron. Lowest one is $3, highest one is 6 bucks. I'm not asking for too much to help support. Um, but what it does, it does greatly help out. It allows us to um, plan out other future events for the big picture for the channel. And also helps support me as well directly as the show's creator. Uh, thank you guys so much, and y'all have a great evening.